I'm Nicole Gomez and this is your morning update for Tuesday, September 9th. North County families are returning to their homes after evacuations were lifted near the Aruba fire. It started Sunday afternoon near Aruba Road and it quickly spread, triggering those evacuations for folks living in the community of Rainbow. Crews got it under control after it burned about 54 acres. No one was hurt. Well, California's recall election is now just a week away. Mail-in and early in-person voting is already underway, and more than 530,000 San Diegans have cast a ballot. Voters are being asked two questions. Should Governor Gavin Newsom be recalled? And if so, which of the 46 challengers should replace him? If 50% or more voters say no to the recall, the governor will stay in office. Again, election day is one week from today, September 14th. Well, some new findings at UC San Diego Health suggest booster shots may become more important in the coming months. According to data recently published in the New England Journal of Medicine, the UC San Diego Health System saw a jump in cases among employees about six months after getting vaccinated. The data showed UC San Diego employees had just 15 cases in June, but 125 in July, and 75% of those people were fully vaccinated. UC San Diego says infections among vaccinated staff Staff members were mild. They didn't require hospitalization. The positive cases also represented a small percentage of their overall workforce of 19,000 people. Meantime, the U.S. is preparing to roll out booster shots this month. The Biden administration says third doses of Pfizer's vaccine should be available by September 20th. Those who received Moderna shots will have to wait a bit longer. Health regulators are recommending boosters eight months after your second dose. Well, the Perseverance rover on Mars has collected its first rock samples to be returned to Earth. Take a look at these photos. Perseverance collected the samples using a drill attachment on the rover, which was developed in part by engineers right here in San Diego. Scientists hope to collect rock and soil samples that will be eventually returned to Earth years from now and studied for signs of life on the red planet. We'll continue to bring you the latest news right here on NBC7.com and on TV. You can also learn more on our podcast, Today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines and those affecting our community. Stay safe and have a great day.